Hey everyone, this is Lori. So today you guys, I am doing a video because I was tagged by Tina's Cricut Create and it's the Get to Know You Craft Tag. I think that's the name, the name of it. Um, so basically in this tag you have to answer 11 questions and um, you know, basically it, re it revolves around your crafting and stuff. So thank you, Tina, for tagging me. I think these challenges are really fun, and I enjoy enjoy them. Um, so let me get started with the question number one. And you'll have to forgive me today, you guys. My allergies are just really terrible, so I sound kind of like stuffy. Okay, so question number one is, what is your YouTube name? What is your name? So my name is Lori, and my YouTube name is Elmania or Elminia. Um... Uh, it's a weird name. I <laughs> I know you guys have a hard time with it. And I mean, I don't even really know the exact pronunciation. It's just something that I chose years ago. And I mean, like, maybe... Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to say probably eight or nine years ago I chose that name. Um, and at the time, I was like a huge collector of angels. So I knew this angel was the angel that protects maritime travelers. So I grew up in the Maritimes in Canada, so that's why I chose that name. Okay, question number two. How did you get started with crafting? Um, I've always dabbled in crafts from like, you know, my early 20s. and But then I really got, you know, seriously involved when my sister, um, when she had her oldest girl, she started scrapbooking. And uh, she introduced me to that, and then I did that for a couple of years, and then I got kind of lazy and stopped, which I need to catch up on a whole bunch of stuff. And then, um, and then one day, like in my local community, they had someone was offering a card class, so then I started taking some classes and got totally hooked on card making. I love card making; it's my favorite. That and scrapbooking. So. And then I started watching a bunch of YouTube videos and just got totally more hooked and addicted. So yeah, that's how I got started. Uh, and I also read a lot of blogs. Card blogs. Number three, favorite crafting brand. Um, I, I have a lot of favorites, you guys. I love Webster's Pages. I love Prima. I love Graphic 45. I mean, it's hard to choose one, as you know, but those are my favorites, like um, Simple Stories, even Recollections, I love Die Cuts with a View, so yeah. Uh, number four is your favorite color. My favorite color is like a blue, a soft pastel blue and a cream. That's my favorite combinations, but I love all colors, but blue and that cream is my favorite. What is my crafting style? You know, I really don't have a style. The thing is with me, if I see it and I like it, I'll just do it. Um, yeah, but I love shabby chic and vintage. That's my two, one, two of my favorites. Uh, number six, what is something you would like to try? So probably mixed media. Uh, I would like to try that, but kind of like the Diane Reevesley mixed media like that kind of style yeah so I like that uh, number seven your favorite YouTube channel uh, I really don't have a favorite because I like every I know it's this is, sounds like a politician but it's true because every crafter is so unique and they all have such wonderful ideas and that's how I learned to do most of my crafting is you know watching you guys but, you know, uh, when I first started watching YouTube, and like I said, this was years ago, I, like, my two favorites in the beginning was Cards TV, and she's Mary, and I used to watch a lot of uh, Creations with Christina and Star of May. So those were the three that I watched a whole lot of, like, in the very beginning of uh, me, you know, finding channels on YouTube. Uh, number eight, if you only had $10 in your pocket, what would you spend it on and where? So if I just had $10, I'd probably go to like the dollar store, like the Dollar Tree or like when I go back home to Dollarama. So yeah, it would have to be in a dollar store or like a dollar bin somewhere. 
Uh, number nine, when you start crafting, what is the one item that helps you put it all together? So I make a lot of cards. So basically what I do is I choose my pattern papers and um, once I choose my papers, I pick my image and then whatever I color my image has to coordinate with the same colors that are in my pattern paper. And then that's how I just, uh, you know, do my card. Yeah, I just, you know, kind of color coordinate everything. Uh, number 10. If you would never, if you would have never heard of crafting, what other hobby would you have picked up? So I'm going to have to say the exact same answer that Tina said in photography because I love photography. I, um, I love taking pictures. Um, I've just, you know, it's uh, one of my passions. I love nature scenes. I'm not really into like the, what is that, the like abstract? No. I like uh, more nature and, you know, people and stuff. So I love photography. One of these days I'm going to take some classes. Um, number 11. What number one item do you recommend the newbies to have? Okay. Well, it depends on what, uh, you know, if they're just card makers or if they're scrapbookers. So I'm just going to say good paper. Uh, you know, a good, if you have a good paper pad, um, you know, that's all you really need if you want to do scrapbooking, card making, is find that, you know, a really versatile paper pad and, you know, you get the most bang for your buck. So, yeah, I guess. I mean, there's so many things, but I'm just going to say paper. So, yeah, you guys, um, that's my answers for those questions. So, um, thank you so much again, Tina. And uh, the two people that I'm going to tag for this video are... I'm going to tag Renee, and she's Stampalicious NL. And I'm also going to tag Emily H. And Emily is very new to YouTube, new to doing videos, I should say. So I'm going to tag Emily. And uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.